Hey everybody, demystifying how to care for your hanging baskets. It can be challenging because the weather's always different. We have different kinds of baskets in different locations. So I'm gonna give you some simple tips on how to care for your baskets for the summer. So location, where do I hang my hanging baskets? Well, it all depends on how much light you have, how much direct sun or how much shade. Direct sun baskets require at least six hours of direct sun. That would be on the south facing of your home without any obstruction from trees. A shade plot would be on the north side of your home, shaded by trees or where there is no direct sun. Those are the two extremes of where you're gonna place your hanging baskets. For instance, this foliage basket requires some sun, but it prefers more lots of bright shade area. This basket over here requires six hours of full sun. It's got lots of blooming petunias, calibricoas, and verbena, which requires lots of intense light to keep them flowering. The part that most people struggle with when taking care of their hanging baskets is water management. How do I water properly? That's the question that is always asked. I think the best way to look at it is check the weight of your baskets, right? You want to make sure that your baskets are well watered and you can tell by the weight. Now that doesn't mean you water every day. It's kind of cold today actually. It's only 15 degrees. I might not actually water my basket today. The best way to think about it is when you're feeling hot and warm, Think of your baskets, think of your plants. They're probably feeling hot and warm too, and they will require water, but it doesn't mean every day. One of the most effective ways to water your baskets is using a water wand. I like to take off the end, the water breaker, and get this end attached to your hose over here and deep water inside your baskets. Water it until the water comes out of the bottom consistently. You're gonna need to do at least two gallons of water for a 14 inch basket up to this size. As the basket gets larger, you'll require more water. More plants require more water. You're gonna wanna water a basket this size at least once a day through the heat of the summer. Quite often I hear about people that have really, really dry baskets. They got home from work and their baskets are completely wilted it's gonna take an exceptional amount of water to get that basket rehydrated again. So you will have to water several times with just clear water to get that soil really nice and moist so the plants can take up that excess water so they are good and hydrated to continue on. The next key component to having success with hanging baskets is nutrient. It's really important to feed your hanging baskets all of your annuals and plants in general. But what I have is a water soluble and a slow release. Water soluble is a powder that you mix into your watering can and then feed your baskets. A slow release prill is what you would add to the inside of your basket by just sprinkling it inside. And then every time you water, the water touches the fertilizer and feeds your hanging baskets. For best results, I use these two in tandem through the growing season. The final step for keeping your baskets looking fantastic is shaping and pruning, deadheading and cleaning up. There's two parts there that are really important. This foliage basket doesn't actually have flowers, but it can get a little unruly and out of shape. So we're gonna show you how to pinch back so that we can continue the shape, making it look good. Over here, we have verbena and petunias that like to get deadheaded so no more flowers will come through the growing season. In most cases with your annuals, there's no special tools needed for shaping your basket. Just your forefinger and your thumb is all that's required. What I like to do is pinch to the shape of the basket, just breaking off the stem, taking off the tip and discarding that. This will then expand and grow and push out more shoots, keeping the basket beautiful and contained. These beautiful blooming plants, the verbena and petunias in particular in this assortment, do require some deadheading. Verbena requires deadheading because then it will rebloom. Once you take those old seed pods off, it promotes growth and also more flowers. Petunias will continue flowering, but because they're a little bit sticky sometimes, I like to just take off the old blooms and discard them. 
Well, there you have it. All the tips that you need to have gorgeous, stunning looking hanging baskets through the growing season.